Welcome back to Miliom.com. In this video, we will learn how to use OLED display with Arduino. We will learn how to write tag, change the font of tag, draw shapes, and even display bitmap in this OLED display. So let's get started. This is brand new i 2 c OLED display. We can simply interface this display using I2C with Arduino. Let's solder this module first. Ok, now it's time to wire it with Arduino. Take a look at the wiring diagram. In this tutorial, I will use the ADAF read libraries. Before we start the code, you need two libraries. The first is ADAF read SSD1306 and the second is ADAF read GFX. You can download the libraries in the link at the description below. Now, we have to know the address of this OLED display. We can find the address by using i 2 scanner sketch. You can also copy this sketch from link below. And now we get the address. Copy the address and we will use it later. Then we have to open the sample file from the library. Look for the address in the sketch and change it with the address we have copied earlier. After the upload complete, you should see the Adafruit logo and many other animations on the OLED display. We have successfully used this OLED display to work. Now, we will learn how to print text, change tag font, draw shapes, and display bitmap in this OLED display. First thing is how to print tag. I will erase this sketch and leave only minimum sketch to make the OLED display works. And then, we will start print tag. I will start by creating a function named printtag and then in the beginning I will clear the display and set the text size to 2. You can change the text size here and then I will set the text color to white. You can use inverse too if you want black color. And then set cursor is the coordinate of the beginning of the tag and we will print the hello world to the display. And you have to call the display.display .display to display the change, otherwise you cannot see the tag. And then I call the function in the loop. Upload the code and you should see hello world in the display now. Then we will try to change the tag. I will change the tag to hello world from milliohm.com. Now the OLED tag is changed. Then I will try to change the tag size. I will change the tag size to 1. 
Now the tag on OLED is smaller. Now I will change the font. You can see the list of font available in the link to my blog in the description. In this demo, I will try to change the font to Free Monobolt 12 PT 7B. So, I have to include the library first. The not default font will not accept the set text size, so I will just comment the set text size. But don't worry, you can choose this font with different size in the list. We can change the font by calling set font and then font name with ampersand in the front of it. Sorry, I forget to write font in the front of the font name. You can copy the full code in my blog. Link in the description. Now the font has changed. So we have successfully print tag in the OLED display, change the size of font and change the font. Now it's time to draw shapes. I will start with rectangle. To draw rectangle simply call display.drawRectangle. Then starting point coordinate followed by wide and high. So this rectangle will draw start at 1,1 100 pixel width and 60 height. Don't forget to call the function from the loop. Upload the sketch and here we go. We can see the rectangle in the OLED display. You can also give the rectangle fill by calling fill rec. To draw circle, you need to call draw circle followed by center coordinate and radius. In this example, I will put the center circle on the 64,32 with radius 20 pixel. And of course, you can fill it too using fill circle. And to draw triangle, you need to call draw triangle followed by its three point coordinates of triangle. Use fill triangle to fill it. You can also draw a line. To draw line, simply call draw line followed by a starting point coordinate and end point coordinate. You can draw a pixel. Simply call draw pixel and specify the coordinate of the pixel. You can also invert the color of the object simply using invert display true or false. In this example, I will invert the object every 500 milliseconds. Now we can see the display is inverted every 500 milliseconds. Now we have done learning how to draw shapes. It's time to learn how to draw bitmap or display bitmap in this OLED display. To do this, you need a monochrome bitmap and a small software called LCD Assistant. LCD Assistant help us convert the bitmap into array. You can download this software in my blog, link in the description. Before we convert the bitmap, we can prepare the Arduino sketch first. You can copy this sketch from my blog. The sketch is used to display a bitmap. Now open the LCD assistant. Change the byte orientation to horizontal and then load the image. 
you have to use a monochrome bitmap with the size match of the LCD. If you don't have one, you can edit the image in paint. Resize the image to match the LCD size and then save as monochrome bitmap. You can edit the image with another software editing too. Choose the image that is logo.bmp and then save output. I will save the output to logo.txt. It will easier to edit with any text editor. And then I open the logo.txt with notepad. I copy the array code only and then paste it in the Arduino code. Now upload the code and we can see the logo on the OLED display. Then we can display any other bitmap using the same procedure. We have successfully printed, changed tech font, draw many kind of shapes, and even display bitmap on this OLED display with Arduino. So, this is the end of complete tutorial on I2C OLED display Arduino. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to make us more enthusiastic to make another video. See you in another tutorial. Bye.